Just yesterday, I completed replacing the valve cover gasket on this 1994 E320 coupe. This has the M104 engine, and I did an instructional video on how to replace the gasket so that you don't get leaks in the future, and also so you do not strip out those critical threads in the head. These are the problems that people run into. It's not a difficult job. If you want to check it out, it's available on my website. But I showed in that video how I tighten the bolts down without a torque wrench. And I explained that sometimes torque wrenches can fool you, particularly when you're working with crushable gaskets. And when I shot this video, I didn't have my favorite torque wrench with me. It was at my other shop. So in this video, I kind of want to show you some torque wrench comparisons and explain why I prefer one over the other. Okay, now we're talking about critical small torque settings when working with bolts that go into aluminum threads. You got that? And this is going to be generally less than 100 inch pounds or less than 10 Newton meters. This is really important you understand this. The principles will change as you get up to higher torques. But a lot of times when you're working with these small torques, you're also working with gaskets. And gaskets crush. And sometimes as they crush, you know, you can get kind of false readings on the torque wrench. So I have three tools that I like to pull out and use in different situations when I'm torquing something like this gasket, okay? <laughs> the first one I'm going to show you here is technically not a torque wrench. I like to refer to it as a non-over-tightening wrench. And this is a really short ratchet because when you use a really short ratchet on these small bolts or bolts that have low torque settings, it's very difficult to over torque or to over tighten. See that? So I generally hold this like this. I don't hold it out on the end. I hold it right on the head and I use my wrist to tighten. And this will give me a feel. It's wrist action. It's not arm action. It's just a light wrist action. And with a little practice, you can get so you can feel what is, let's say, 10 Newton meters or close to 100 inch pounds, okay? And this is what I used when I torqued this because I was having problems with my click stop torque wrench and I didn't feel like it was giving me a really good accurate feel because with this small wrench you can feel these tighten down and you can actually feel them start to bottom out and then just a little tweak of the wrist you can tighten them down just enough. You're not putting a lot of excessive torque on these because if you do you're going to strip those aluminum threads out and then you have a big problem, okay? So the second one is the click stop torque wrench. Now whether or not you use click stop or you're going to see the beam style next, you want to get one that's small. You want a quarter inch drive, something that goes up to, let's say this one goes up to 24 Newton meters only, okay? And so if you use a great big torque wrench, they're generally not that accurate down in the low settings. But one of the things with the click stop torque wrench, let's say we set this at 10 Newton meters, which is the prescribed torque setting for this valve cover gasket. You start to tighten it down and you're not sure. It's maybe feeling a little too tight and you're not sure where you are. Are you at six? Are you at eight? <laughs> you know, so you really don't have a whole lot of good feel with this. Granted, they can be very accurate, but they also get out of calibration. And unless you have some way to calibrate them, you don't know whether or not this one is accurate. And so enter my favorite small torque wrench. And that's called the beam style. Now the nice thing about this is I can put it on the bolt and as I pull on it, I can see it, okay, I'm at five, I'm at six, I'm at seven. And you may be feeling it and thinking, man, this is getting a little too tight and you can back off. But notice how this flexes, see? So it prevents that abrupt over torquing because of the amount of flex in the handle. And the other thing about this is you can recalibrate it. If it gets off of zero, you can bend the rod and get it back in calibration. So this is why I like the beam style torque wrench when doing these real low critical torque settings in and around automotive engines. Now, if you're interested in purchasing one of these torque wrenches, just follow the links in the show more part of the description below this video.